My name is Aaron Brady, and I am a ninth grade math teacher. If I had to summarize my induction experience in one word, it would be exploration. I have tried different strategies during my inquiry cycles with varying results. I've investigated different seating arrangements, and I've focused on my own style of directing class discussions, among many other things. The first thing we did in induction was set a goal. Mine was to gain experience and knowledge of effective math teaching engagement strategies with the ultimate goal of engaging more students. I believe that I was moderately successful in getting more students to engage in my lessons. I measured my success by observing my students throughout the semester. It was slow, but gradually, many of my reluctant learners engaged in the content by working consistently and joining whole class discussions. My biggest strength is that I bring 25 years of real world experience into the classroom. I am an open book and I love sharing my life's journey with my students. Math students often ask why they should learn math and I have 10 years of experience in a casino and five years of experience in manufacturing to share with them. That, in addition to everyday issues like taking out bank loans, getting car loans, paying rent, being a consumer, and doing all the other things that everyday people do with math uh, are important things that my students need to learn. My other great strength is bringing fun into the classroom, whether it's sharing a funny meme or making dad jokes or just playing games with my students, uh, I find that they tend to be more productive when they are laughing and smiling. I can improve my teaching style in many areas. One would be to be more consistent in handling the administrative side of running my classes. I use Google Classroom and I have found that it's difficult to keep up with the daily grind of posting their daily assignments. I need to use this tool better and more effectively, which will in turn help my students be more self-sufficient. When they uh, are asking me what their assignment is, I can simply say, go to Google Classroom and find out for yourself. I have changed in many ways, but the most profound is in my confidence level that I bring to the classroom every day. As I gain more experience in lesson design, uh, I find that I'm honing my ability to judge the time needed to plan assignments that are the proper length and difficulty for the students. I have also improved at differentiating our daily activities to reach different learning modalities. I've been finding videos, making scaffolded notes and vocabulary, and also given art projects as part of our overall learning framework. I'm most proud of taking on the task of coaching our boys basketball team. I believe that teachers should be involved in extracurricular activities and our school desperately needed a basketball coach. We played nine games total as we got our program going and wouldn't you know it, we won three of them. It made me proud because my student athletes stayed committed and dedicated to the program, which was a huge victory unto itself. One area in which I grew was in slowing down my class discussions. I tend to talk and think fast, which was detrimental to all my struggling learners. One of my focus cycles was to be actively aware of my pace. This helped the students as I allowed them more think time to answer the questions that I asked and then more writing time to take down the notes. I think this has helped their overall progress and is part of why my engagement levels increased over the course of the year. One strategy that was successful was bringing the game trash get ball into the classroom. Uh, I have a lot of struggling learners and reluctant learners and this game helped them want to do math by putting them in teams and having them answer questions that granted them a shot at shooting buckets into the trash can. I found that by the end of the activity almost all of my students were answering the questions correctly. One specific example of a success is a student that I have that I reached on a personal level. Uh, some teachers say that you don't want to be friends with your students, and to a certain extent that's true. But I also think that it's important that we understand where our students are coming from, and that comes from listening. And that's kind of what friends do. So in a way, I think we do need to be friends with our students. Uh, I was able to connect with this student on a more personal level, and she's actually good at math. And to actually make that connection, she now comes into my classroom every day with the intent of staying focused and being successful in the classroom. My next professional goal is to further my ability to teach students about growth mindset. 
I believe that if I can get my students to be okay with making mistakes, not just to learn from them, but to expect them as part of the process, then they will be more willing to engage in the process of doing math. I will find more activities that help students understand this concept better. So many of my kids don't believe that they are capable of learning math, and I am excited for the opportunity to change their mindset. I'd like to thank my coach and principal, Mrs. Four, for helping me through this difficult and lengthy process. And I would also like to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. So let's get out there and make some great thinkers in the world.